This video was made possible thanks to our Patreon supporters. When she stood up outside, my sister's waist was about the height of the house's roof. And at the time, that wasn't too pleasing a fact. She, however, was having a lovely time being grown by Tia the Growth Witch, who was rather keen to keep growing us both. And back then, I wasn't even sure why. <laughs> what a view from up here! Want me to pick you up so we can see? No, I don't want you to pick me up. What do you think I am, a toy? Well, that is what you look like. I don't want to hear it. We need to figure out why you keep growing. First, I think you'll need to like it more. Then maybe you'll find out. <laughs> Plus, not me. You were the first one to grow, remember? It's both of us. How right you are, Miss Aya. In fact, Yuki needs a little reminder that she's growing too. Whether she wants to or not, have fun growing! Oh, oh no, not again. Told you so. You're about to grow again, aren't you? Try to have fun this time. I can feel it building. Here it comes. There you go, sis. Doesn't it feel pretty nice? Not in the least. It's just weird. I lied. Growing felt strangely nice, but I was just too stubborn to admit it. It's hard to describe truly how it felt. Except that I was sure by then, as I grew larger, it felt nicer. My sister, in her excitement, had forgotten about the problems this was causing. I, however, clung to them as a means of not giving in. You're halfway there, sis! And you weren't speaking very much. Are you sure it doesn't feel at least a little nice? Ever so slightly. But... But... We're both too large to fit inside the house, or any house now. Where are we going to sleep tonight, huh? Do you like the idea of being homeless? Because that's where we'll end up. Giantess is exposed to the elements. What? You're ahead of me again! By this point, I could liken the growth to scratching an itch. between the growths, I found myself waiting for the next spurt. I knew it! You're starting to like it too, aren't you? Don't lie! Yes, I kind of am. But that doesn't excuse it as being a bad idea. That Yuki is a real warrior. I suppose she doesn't know what I can do. Or that I'm even here yet. Maybe I'll let her get a bit larger before I talk with her. Aya, on the other hand... Aya, head to the town. Whoa, did you hear that? Hear what? Nothing. Anyway, I have an idea. Follow me. And yeah, up and over. This way, come on. Oi, wait for me. Bah, that's sisters for you. Uh. Hey, Aya. Wait up! My! What interesting girls I have found to befriend! Well, I'd like to stumble upon them first. I was sure I'd have to search for hours. I shall make my way towards the town as well! There, I will discuss with Aya how to ease Yuki's worries. Then, there'll be no more problems! Everybody will be friends soon enough. After all these years, I'm finally growing into friends! Well, they don't realize that yet. <laughs> so, with everyone on their way to the town, 
Tia's plan came closer to completion, and I was about to have one of the most important meetings of my life thus far. This is the town! Yes, I'm well aware that it is. Now would you slow down? Aw, come on sis, keep up! Well, I am trying. I'd do it even better if you... Sister, what's wrong? Why'd you stop? Sister, what's happening? Aya, do not worry. You're quite safe. It's that voice again! Hey, who are you? That will be revealed soon. Okay, then I have another question. Where am I? What happened to Yuki the town? They are exactly as they were. You haven't moved either. You're still in that town, frozen in time. This is more like a dream. Please hold on. I will join you shortly. The dark expanse of void I found myself in was quite terrifying. My heart was beating fast as I waited for the owner of the voice to appear. Hello there, Aya! Sorry for the inconvenience. I wish to introduce myself. I am Tia, known to some as the Growth Witch. I am the cause of yours and your sister's recent growth, and I wish to explain myself. I see. Well, nice to meet you too. Please! The pleasure is all mine. The first thing about the girl to jolt me was that she spoke in such polite language. I then automatically replied in kind, despite the strangeness of my surroundings. She put me at ease, talking like that, in her sweet, quiet voice. Apologies for the secrecy. I wish to talk about your sister with you. My sister? Yes, unlike you. Your sister seems displeased at growing larger. Well, she's just worried, that's all. Whoa, what's this? We are beginning to arrive at our destination. Which is... Where is this place? A ruin between dimensions. A good place to speak privately. My apologies for bringing you here without your prior consent. No, that's okay. This is just such a strange place. So, okay... Questions. Uh, why did you grow us? That question has a long answer, and I will tell you. When I was born, I had a magical defect. I come from a family of witches, you see. I had this new type of growth magic that nobody could previously do. But nobody there wanted to go bigger, as I yearned to. And I didn't want to do it on my own. I felt like this power was important. Seemed like I should be using it to help people. But nobody wanted to help there. I grew up as normal, and my mother taught me and my sister witchcraft. I recently learned the spell to teleport between worlds. As the time felt right, I traveled along to the next world and found you two. I was so eager to try out my power that I didn't want either of you chasing me away. So I hid myself and grew you both. Y you seemed to enjoy it. But as your sister did not, I worried about her and wanted to consult you. Okay, so you just wanted to find some friends to grow bigger with? That is correct. Would you at least consider the proposal? Consider? I accept! Of course I'll be friends with you! <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing, Messiah. You've just made me so very happy. Okay, well, I'm happy to grow with you. The only problem is my sister. But before that, can you show me how you grew us? I really want to see. You're interested to see? Very well. I shall grow myself as a demonstration. She was so adorable, down there on the floor, and looking for friends. How can you get more adorable than that? Of course I had to say yes. And I'm not sure why I wanted to see how she had grown us. But I was curious. I never met a witch before then, and to know that her magic was true, it was thrilling. Firstly, I transmit a growth energy crystal, and then direct it to the desired target. Then the crystal.
still does the remainder of the work. And then the target begins to grow larger. Wow, okay. And how many of these crystals have you got? I don't have any. I create them when casting the spell, so I have an unlimited supply. You mean we can grow larger forever? If you so desire, dear Aya. Drop the deer, just call me Aya. What should I call you? You may call me what you wish. Then I shall call you Tia, is that okay? That was my given name at birth, so it is suitable. I'm honestly surprised about how much pleasure you gained from this growth. You heard that too? Yeah, it's pretty fantastic. Why? Would you disagree? Not exactly. It is pleasurable, but not such that I feel uncomfortable. Why, if not for the pleasure, do you want to grow larger with friends then? That is difficult to answer. It is a feeling I have, similar to a premonition. I am sure it is what I am supposed to do. Okay, sure, that makes sense. You do grow fast with this stuff, don't you? A manageable yet speedy growth is optimal for growing larger. That sort of thing can be said whilst I set up the spell. Wait, so you can make people grow at the speed you want? Precisely, Aya. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> you are the first person I've called to by just their first name. In my world, everybody has a title that you refer them by. Not their name. Then what's the point of having the name Tia if nobody calls you it? Tradition, really? Oh, <laughs> I've almost overtaken you, Aya. You have grown quickly. I don't mind as long as you grow me afterwards. But of course I will. We are to grow larger together. You know, I think you'll make a fantastic friend, Tia. Why, thank you for your kindness. Back then, growing was just a bit of fun to me. But Tia was serious about this, in her cute way. Though, neither of us were aware of it then. Us growing larger was vitally important. It is quite funny looking back on it now, to think how small we both were, yet how large we both felt we had grown. Growth does this to your mind. Wow, you're still growing! I made a particularly powerful crystal. The growth is almost over, however. Now I have shown you what I can do. May we discuss your sister? Yes, I don't think she needs too much convincing. She's worried about all kinds of problems, not being able to fit inside again. Not being able to get enough to eat, not having anywhere to sleep. Ah, it's these problems. She can stop worrying then. I can fix all of these. What? You really can? My magic gifts are some of the strongest I know. And I have been well trained. It should be easy to keep us full or create some form of better house. Shall we both head back and ease your sister's worries? Sure. For me, the previous events had passed in an instant. My sister had never even left. This is why I was a little surprised when she started going on at me about this Tia. When she said that this Tia was growing us, I was blazing with anger. And unfortunately, Tia chose that very moment to appear and introduce herself. watching the second part of her growing adventure with Tia. It sounds like Sis is going to get pretty angry with her next time, and you don't want to see her when she's angry. Or perhaps you do? If you do, keep an eye out for part three of Tia the Growth Witch, and subscribe to SGA's channel if you haven't already to get notified when it comes out. See you then!